Un okay. So, uh, I'm just going to go over my pitching mechanism for Mr. Koffel real quick. So, first off, we've got the pouch. Uh, pretty simple. It's got surgical tubing on both sides, uh, wrapped around uh, through holes in the eight layers of fabric uh, so it doesn't rip. It's got grommets in here as well, which are basically uh, metal circles that ensure that the uh, fabric doesn't rip and an easy place for the surgical tubing to go through. Uh, we also have that wrapped around uh, so that the, for this rope. Uh, the rope is in here uh, with two knots so that it can't come through the grommets. And then we have come around the other side. Now under underneath this duct tape is five layers of rope. We have it duct taped so that it doesn't come undone, but uh, that's in order to make sure that it doesn't uh, come out of the release mechanism, which I'll show you now. So the release mechanism is actually uh, David's design. He's a cameraman right now. Uh, he's my neighbor from uh, up the way. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, in Mr. Koff's class, we don't call that stealing. We call it reverse engineering. Um, here is the release mechanism. You have this little bar that comes up and down. When the other piece of wood is engaged, it can't go up. It only stays down. So the way you work it, you keep it open, push it up, let it down. Now this is stuck in there. You got the wood down, then you release it, and the bar just can come up and the pouch can fall out. So it's pretty simple. Right, so we're going to just uh, winch this thing up and show you how it works. Right now we have the baseball strung in the release mechanism as you saw earlier. And uh, now we're going to show you the winch part. This is probably uh, the most important part of the design. Uh, it's basically a dowel. Uh, it's an inch and a half thick dowel, so it's really uh, thick. Um, uh, right through uh, two two by fours, and you just turn it. And you can see it's very simple to turn. Uh, and then you have this stop in place right here, which can come up and down. Uh, right now it's in the engaged position, so this can't de winch and de uh, and unwind basically and allow the uh, entire block to move forward. Uh, so that's pretty uh, much the winch part of it. Um, now uh, we're going to. I winch it all the way back so that we can fire it off uh, with my old water balloon launcher. Alright, so Steve is in the outfield going to catch the baseball when I release. Ready? Yep. And he got it. Okay, so this is my engineering project. The man standing behind there is not me, it is David, my neighbor, who's been a very, very important part in completing this design. Uh, so I'm going to go for a little bit of the features. So, up here, we have the release mechanism. It's pretty simple. So, this block right here slides, well, slides in underneath this. Now, it can't, from the inside, this thing can't come up anymore and so when you want to release it you just pull this out and it slides out pretty simple that's actually my neighbor David's design but in Mr. Koffel's class we don't call that stealing we call it reverse engineering uh, up here we have the winch so this is probably the most important part of the design you winch it like that and it just pulls this back so simple so simple a five-year-old could do it. It really is work of magic right there. And it's got the stop so it won't uh, unwind. It's beautiful. Okay, so now we go through the hard task of stringing it with the baseball pouch. Here's the pouch. So here's the rope that uh, goes into the release mechanism. David's going to unwind it right now. Pull it out. Okay, so, put the rope in there, make sure it's centered pretty well, and I actually got to pull these around, oh, you can't even see that, wow. Okay, now David's going to start winching it back.
Okay, so now we have it strung. Where's the baseball? It's in my baseball glove. We're gonna put it in here. Now, see it fits pretty snugly in there. David's gonna winch it back. As you can see, it's actually here. Put the lock in. Okay, leave it there, Dave. Let's lift it up. Now we're gonna put it on this somewhat launcher that I designed a while ago for something else. And it's a lot easier when you have two men to do this, so David's being very kind. And let's see, is that one? Is that all of them? Yep. Okay. So now I'm gonna go out in the outfield and we can see, so where's the what? I'm going to go out in the outfield. David just can't talk for some reason. So, let's see how far this thing shoots. I'm camera shy, Steve. You know that. Hey. Oh, not quite yet. Okay. I'm going to set this down so that I can catch it. We all know it's my goal. Okay. Okay, can you see it down there? I think so. Okay. So, I'm gonna go try and catch the ball now. Okay, Dave. Still need my iPad. And that is a completed pitching machine shot. Now clearly that was pretty high angle, so we're gonna work on angling it so that it just shoots straight for a fastball, as it is supposed to be a pitching machine, so. But that'll be it. Hopefully that went well.